Welcome back to another session of Visio Divina, or Praying with Art. Before we start, I wanted to encourage you to take whatever pace you would like for your Visio Divina. We will have music in the background and some pauses built in, but if you would like more time, feel free to pause it and continue on to the next step when you feel ready. This is all about growing in intimacy with God, so do whatever helps you with that. For today's Visio, I am excited to be praying with you about the marriage of Mary and Joseph. This image is called The Marriage of the Virgin by Luca Giordano. In this scene portrayed by this artist, we see lots of characters, colors, and movement. I find it so very striking that we enter into such a sacred moment by which Joseph and Mary devote themselves to one another. While we experience Joseph's faithfulness and other great virtues in our past lessons, in this one, we see these lived out in a special way. He is giving himself to Mary, and eventually Jesus too, for his whole life in service. Likewise, Mary is giving her whole self in trust to Joseph. I often smile at this mystery with Mary and Joseph because it is a scene which reflects God's gladness upon the sacrament of marriage. It is a sign by which God reveals himself to mankind and is a glimmer of the experience of his love through another. As we begin, take a minute or two to place yourself in God's presence. Place your feet flat on the ground and take in some long, deep breaths in and out. Invoke the Lord to guide you with his Holy Spirit during this time of prayer. Take the next few minutes to sit with this image. What is striking you about it? Is it the scene or the expressions? Do you relate to any of the characters? Take these to prayer and you can even journal your thoughts.
At this point, we will show the scripture passage on the screen. Feel free to read along aloud with us or look at your image quietly as we read this passage. Be aware of what words or phrases are striking you. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a helper suited to him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground all the wild animals and all the birds of the air, and he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each living creature was then its name. The man gave names to all the tame animals, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be a helper suited to the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built the rib that he had taken from the man into a woman. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of man this one was taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body.
For this next step, we will show on the screen some reflection questions. Take one or two of these to prayer and journal them. Feel free to pause the video and linger here or at another moment in the video if helpful. Go wherever the Spirit leads you in your prayer. As we finish up our time of prayer, ask the Lord how he wants you to live out from this time of Visio Divina. An example can be praying an act of faith in moments of trial throughout your week, or even just doing a kind act for someone. Take this to prayer and journal it. I hope you enjoyed praying with us and that you have found it fruitful and beneficial. If you are looking for additional resources on Visio Divina, check out our website at www.beholdvisiodivina.com. We host prayer groups both in person and virtually, provide printed materials for parishes to lead their own small groups, and have additional resources and events. 
It is such a joy to pray with you, and I look forward to having you join us for our next episode.